CBA say COVID-19 during the third quarter will cost at $1.5 billion. That's arising from bad loans stemming from COVID-19. Um, the CBA's calculated this figure based on some forward-looking economic assumptions. One of them is a standard economic downturn, which CBA, in which CBA says house prices will fall 11% by 2022 over this time. Economic growth will be 3% in 2022 and unemployment would be 6.5% in 2022. However, there's also a prolonged downturn scenario where CBA say house prices could fall 32% by 2022, economic growth would be 2.3%, and unemployment would be at 6.5%. So it's, it's found the medium ground between these two scenarios to calculate that $1.5 billion cost of COVID-19. Now, Annalise, this comes as the bank reported its third quarter profit today for the three months to March 31, which was down about 23% to $1.3 billion. Um, the other news this morning, CBA has agreed to sell a majority stake in its business, Colonial First State, which is superannuation retirement business, to global investor KKR uh, for about $1.7 billion. Um, CBA also says since COVID-19 outbreak earlier this year, the bank has provided about $9 billion in support measures to over 100,000 businesses. The bank has approved repayment deferrals on 71,000 business loans, 144,000 home loans and 25,000 personal loans. And Chief Executive Matt Common says the measures put in place by the government and the Reserve Bank and the actions taken by regulators have cushioned the economic impact, kept businesses intact and supported people who have been most impacted and our red business editor, Tiki Fullerton, will be speaking to Matt Common a bit later today, and no doubt she'll talk to him about this house price scenario where house prices in Australia could drop by 32% by 2022, Annalise.